Hi, and welcome to this video on electrical hazards and control measures. Electrical hazards are one of the leading causes of accidents and injuries in the workplace, so it's important to be aware of them and take steps to control them. What are electrical hazards? Electrical hazards are any conditions or situations that pose a risk of electric shock, burns, fires or explosions. They can be caused by a variety of factors, including faulty wiring or equipment, exposed electrical parts, overloaded circuits, water or other liquids coming into contact with electrical equipment, human error, such as accidentally touching a live wire, what are the effects of electrical hazards? Electrical hazards can have serious consequences, including electric shock, which can cause burns, muscle spasms, cardiac arrest, and death. Burns from electrical arcs or explosions, fires caused by faulty wiring or equipment, explosions caused by electrical sparks igniting flammable materials. Control measures for electrical hazards. There are a number of control measures that can be taken to reduce the risk of electrical hazards, including Engineering controls These controls involve designing and installing electrical equipment and systems in a way that minimizes the risk of hazards. For example, engineering controls can include using insulated wiring, installing ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs, and using lockout tagout procedures to prevent accidental energization of equipment. Administrative controls. These controls involve procedures and policies that are put in place to reduce the risk of electrical hazards. For example, administrative controls can include providing training on electrical safety, requiring employees to use personal protective equipment, PP, and having a system in place for reporting and investigating electrical hazards. Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. PPE is equipment that is worn by employees to protect them from electrical hazards. Examples of PPE for electrical hazards include insulated gloves, boots, and hard hats. Conclusion. Electrical hazards are a serious safety concern, but there are a number of control measures that can be taken to reduce the risk. By implementing these control measures, employers and employees can work together to create a safe and healthy workplace.